free vacation all expenses paid you did such a good job you deserve some rest who would have liked to hear that i would free vacation and throw in a free ticket wow that's really rest welcome to pathways of hope hi i am lorna Campos. so imagine getting ready for this trip getting so excited and then you get to the place and when you get there there are so 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 many people this was the scene that greeted jesus and his companions in mark 6 30 to 34. the apostles gathered around jesus and reported to him all they had done and taught then because so many people were coming and going out that they did not even have a chance to eat, he said to them, Come with me and be by yourselves to a quiet place and rest. Wow, rest. So they went away by themselves in a boat to a solitary place. But many who saw them leaving recognized them and ran on foot from all the towns and got there ahead of them. When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, a large crowd, if I were one of the apostles and saw that crowd, I'd say, oh no, oh plan rest, gone. How what to do? Yet let's look at Jesus. What was his response? Jesus had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. So he began teaching them many things. For they were like sheep without a shepherd. Let's reflect about the sheep and the shepherd. And as I was reflecting, I saw these images and I hope they speak to you as they have spoken to me. The shepherd. The shepherd guides. Sheep easily get lost and distracted, so they need a good guide. The shepherd is right there on the path. And also the shepherd, he personally cares. You know, I was struck by this picture, and it just captures the tenderness of the shepherd for the sheep. The shepherd knows the sheep by name and is concerned with all the concerns, even the ticks on the hair of the sheep. And then when the sheep stray, because the sheep, they really like going everywhere and they don't remember how to get back. The shepherd seeks them out. And he's not taking his dilly dally time. He's actually like here running after the sheep before the sheep gets into more trouble. And when the sheep gets into trouble and there are wolves who want to eat the sheep and pounce on them, the shepherd comes in with his body Ooh, protecting. He's in this picture intense, using his body as the armor for the helpless sheep. The shepherd guides, personally cares, defends and protects. So the sheep, the sheep, what does the sheep need to do? The sheep needs to listen to the voice of the shepherd, of his shepherd. And as one listens, to trust that even in turbulent times, if things get, you know, topsy-turvy and you feel like you're going to drown, trust. Look at the sheep here and look at his smile. It looks confidently because beside him is the shepherd and the sheep can trust even when things get so scary and people want to pounce upon him he's so scared there look there's a hand that will pluck him out and the sheep just needs to follow follow because the shepherd wants to lead to safety. And the shepherd will lead to 
green pastures where one can get fed. Shepherd, guide, defends, cares, sheep, listen, trust, follow. Jesus is the shepherd. We are the sheep. And the question for us today is, whose voice are we following? Is Jesus our shepherd? And for us who have made the decision to follow Jesus as shepherd, is it still him that we are listening to? Or maybe he's getting drowned out by all our other concerns and fears. So I invite you to reflect further by taking a screenshot of any of the images of sheep and shepherd. Reflect upon them throughout the day and let it speak to you even further. And that rest and recreation that we all need, breathe in, breathe out. And know that true rest, refreshment, peace, and quiet come from knowing the true shepherd. God bless! The Lord is my shepherd, I shall